Hey, what's up? As requested, I'm going to review what the 11-year-old kid from Tara's family eats in a day. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. And if you don't know who I am, I'm Matt and I'm 11 years old. And what I'm going to be doing today is showing me everything I eat. So let's get straight into it. For breakfast, I'm going to be having a wonderful strawberry and tofu smoothie bowl. All you have to do is blend the strawberries with the tofu and then you have... Oh my god. I could say some things about his appearance, but I'm not going to. He's an 11 year old kid, he doesn't even understand what's going on. And it's also obvious, I don't even need to point it out. And Tofu. He's literally showing to everybody why he is the way he is. Wow, 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 wow. Amazing sweetie girl. Mind blown. It's the parents' fault. Now for the toppings guys, and what I'm going to be having is blueberries, raw cacao nibs, pum pumpkin and sunflower. You've got uh, pink phytoestrogen sludge with cacao nibs to give him adrenaline to toxify his body. Blueberries which are obviously sprayed with pesticides so it will destroy his gut. All of them are, you can't avoid it, except if you pick them in the wild, and these are way too big, obviously not wild. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Seeds and date almonds. And more seeds, more anti-nutrients, just indigestible fiber. Just dead fiber, it's nothing. So this is my breakfast, guys, and I love smoothie bowls, and I can't wait. Okay, it's almost a video that I would want to stop watching here, because this is just sad, really. So that was a lovely breakfast, guys. But now lovely. I'm going to be having a, a lovely, lovely British meal. One is a multivitamin, I wish and you. one is oh. a omega free vitamin. Um, um, what, what am I watching here? He's getting used to taking medicine. That's all the pills are. Doesn't matter if you call them supplements, whatever, a multivitamin. That's what it is, isn't it? I'm about to start my school work and I'm going to begin with reading the secret 7 collection. There's three books in one and so far I'm loving it, so I'm just going to read it now. So I finished my homes of work guys and it's lunchtime now and mum has made me some soup with butternut squash, black eyed beans and miso and some broccoli and some really yummy bread. Okay, the soup is just uh, spices with water. <laughs> Basically that's all that any soup really is because there's no nutritional value. Even if you would add something that does have nutritional value, then you would cook it to death anyway. Broccoli, have, uh, again, literally every video I review, I won't even go into detail, but just look into it. Broccoli is just extremely toxic. It's not healthy in any way at all. There's literally zero benefits that you can get from broccoli. <laughs> and just some bread. What? Bread is... Fiber and empty carbohydrates with no micronutrients. Not only that, but you've got anti-nutrients in the bread that don't let you absorb any minerals, even if you would get them from any food. In this case, you won't get them anyway. So I'm really hungry now, guys, because of all that hard work I did this morning. So I'm just going to eat this now. Okay, I'll say it as it is. It looks like prison food to me. This is really bad. It's irresponsible. I can't stand watching this. So I'm just on my way upstairs now guys, I'm about to film another gaming video for my gaming channel and it's called Maximo and if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe and I'll leave another link in the description box below so I'm just off now. Better than eating vegan food. <laughs> so guys I just finished my gaming video and it was actually really fun but anyway it's time for a snack and I've got a naked bar and some quinoa bites. I've actually never had these before so I'm really excited to try them. Okay, he's going to be munching on more anti-nutrients and dead fiber with some spices to make it taste good. Or if you can call that good. Mm. 
This family clearly doesn't understand that a growing kid needs lots of fat-soluble vitamins for sure, which he will only get from animal fat. Where is he getting vitamin D while living in the UK? They actually taste really nice. But it's just junk food. What does it matter how it tastes? Guys, I've actually had that too. this before and it's really nice. Those over-the-top expressions, it's super obvious that whoever is filming the video, and we know who it is, is telling him to do that. I'm not even saying here that she necessarily means bad, and of course the YouTube channel is a good business. It's dinner time guys! And Mama's made me an amazing huge salad, so I can't wait to eat it. For dessert, I have... <laughs> what was it, tahini or something? It's as if... She knows that he needs fat, but she believes that some plant oils will replace them. Strawberries and cream, and I love strawberries and cream, so I'm just going to eat it now. Of course you would like strawberries and cream, because every kid likes cream, but cream is made out of milk. That's why it's creamy, because you get the cream from the milk. That's how you make cream. I don't know what this is, some uh, soy cream probably? It's fake. You're literally tricking your kids into eating stuff which they would actually naturally want to eat, but uh, instead they get more phytoestrogens and um, just some toxins. The bottom line is they're not getting basically any micronutrients out of this, and really not even macronutrients. It's all carbohydrate based. So that based. was everything I ate today and all the food was delicious. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, smash that like button and if you're new around here, subscribe and I'll see you very soon. Bye guys! Ooh. That was painful. This was really bad. This was one of the worst. Wow. Wow. Oh, I'm not even gonna say much about this. Plants don't have over 50 nutrients. This is why that happens. Ah, feeding a kid a vegan diet. Just uh, genius. Great. What's the purpose? Only she knows why she's doing that. Is it to get attention? Some money? Does she really believe in it? We don't really know. It's just very irresponsible. I wouldn't think that any parent is going to see this and say, hey, I should also put my kids on a vegan diet. But then again, you don't know because vegans become quite delusional. I wouldn't even be surprised if people on her videos are commenting how healthy the whole family is. Thanks for watching.